Hi, I'm Kenty Khan. My guest today is multi-talented and versatile, award-winning filmmaker, Jay Wallier. Jay wrote, edited, produced, and co-directed with his mom, Lilu Wallier, their first feature film, Street Soldiers. Lily herself is an award-winning filmmaker also. Street Soldiers recently won a Remy at Worldfest, Houston International Film Festival. It's my pleasure to welcome Jay Wallia to our show. Jay, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Listen, um, congratulations all around. Um, this Remy at, at Worldfest for your first feature film. Yes. And, um, but both you and your mom You've already, you're award-winning filmmakers already. You have won uh, a Remy uh, before at Worldfest for your best short film, yeah. uh, I Do, Do I. So you've, you know, you've been there already. Um, you're not just, uh, this is not just your first film, but it's your first feature film. So you're already versatile. Feature films, short films, and you've won uh, um, Remy's. And, you know, our viewers, some of them, may not be familiar with, with Remy's, and, and just so that they're aware, uh, the Remy's, uh, Houston International Film Festival, one of the oldest film and video festivals around. True, yeah. And uh, while perhaps, and I'll just say perhaps, uh, the viewers may not know the name Jay Walia and Lily Alu Walia, they certainly know the names Spike Lee, Adam Egoyan, Canadian filmmaker, um, Oliver Stone, Brian De Palma. Um, these are all directors who were, as they like to say, were discovered at the Remy. They won their first major awards there, and now they've gone on to bigger and better things. And so it's, it's congratulations all around. Um, you've, uh, you've done this, this work, this feature film, Street Soldiers, with your mom. And uh, she's obviously you've you've learned a lot from her, and and, and you've you know you have a re working relationship with her, so it's um, this is all very very good news. Um, tell me, how does this feel? I mean, you've won uh, Remy for uh, uh, best short film, and now your first feature film. How exciting is this for you? Oh, we're so happy with it. Uh, you know, it's such an honor to be recognized by, you know, you do these films when we make them, we do it for the passion of the work, you know, we just wanted to make a film with a message and put something out there, but to be recognized by a major festival like the Houston World Fest, it's, it's an honor for us. Like you said, we first made I Do Do I, which was a short, it was a long short, uh, it was about 40, 40 minutes long. Oh, that is a long it short. It is a long <laughs> short, but uh, you know, we wanted to tell a story there too, and basically teeter along that line and see if we could jump into the feature world by doing a pretty long short as well and it got recognized by the Houston World Fest uh, those directors there Steven Spielberg as well won mm -hmm. his first Steven award he was won. so we're in great company I feel like uh, you know touch wood we're walking in the footsteps of great directors and maybe one day we would be there as well but uh, you know it is an absolute honor to be recognized by this film festival now that we've jumped into the feature world with street soldiers it's an hour 45 it's a full feature uh, independently shot with Canadian talent and now that it's getting recognition and uh, it's just we're just so happy with everything that's good uh, well it, and so we're, we're happy for you as well you so uh, another um, budding you know Canadian filmmaker that's just you know reaching for the stars now in addition to the Remy that you've yeah. won here for Street Soldiers you've also been nominated for two Marty Awards that's the Mississauga Arts Council uh, yes. Awards um, you've been nominated in two categories and your mom has been nominated in in a single category tell yes. me a little bit about that okay so the Marty Awards like we're from Mississauga Toronto Mississauga all the talent for this movie has come from here uh, it's Canadian based talent um, for the Martys, it was such an honor for us to be nominated in our own city. Uh, I was nominated in two categories, one for literary arts, uh, for writing the project, as well as for emerging media arts, which is upcoming, uh, you know, filmmakers. Mom, being, you know, an established director, she's being nominated for established media arts. So it's kind of good we're not in the same <laughs> category, <laughs> we're not competing, and we can root for each other and, yes. you know, hopefully hope for the best. Street soldiers. A street soldier, uh, as I understand it by definition, is a... Um, has to do with, uh, with being in a gang, a gang member. Um, and while the movie Street Soldiers uh, uh, explores um, uh, life in, in, in a gang, it's a lot more than that. It's, it's um, about bullying and, and right. drugs and yeah. violence and racism and all that stuff. Um, 
Tell us about the storyline of Street Soldiers. Yeah, you, well, you're very right. Like, it does have the essence of, you know, Street Soldiers are supposed to be these young kids that are on the streets, uh, you know, protecting their own. They're basically uh, fighting in a gang, and there's always a higher purpose. But we wanted to tell the story of not just, you know, glorifying it. We're not trying to glorify that lifestyle at all. It's actually a story of a young kid who's tormented and bullied in his own life. He goes to a new school and he's tormented and bullied by other kids and uh, he kind of turns towards his own background, his own ethnicity for some support. And in doing so, protecting himself and in self-preservation, he ends up making some choices, uh, some bad decisions and they end up forming a gang and it takes him down this path where, you know, he, he has very few options and he runs out of, uh, you know, positive influences in his life. So the idea is we saw that I did a lot of research before actually making the movie about gangs and what was this common element? What drove these kids towards this life? And a lot of it was, you know, for the quick money, the, you know, the women, all that kind of stuff that glamorizes it. But they're all kids from like a tormented past. They may not have a father figure, someone to lead them in the right direction. And then they turn to towards their own gang brothers who are older than them to uh, take over that father figure role. And they kind of mislead them and they kind of take them down this uh, path where you know they're looking for their own interests. And that's where a kid can get lost. So it's to kind of show the story how this kid is just a regular kid. He's a second generation Indo-Canadian. So he's not just somebody who's, it's not the immigrant story anymore. We've been here for some time. Uh, they've come and they've settled here. And now these second generation kids, these ones who grow up here here, what are the, the, you know, the problems that they face? How, uh, how do they go about dealing with these problems in their life? Well, uh, that's, that's a mouthful. That's, that's, that's why it's a feature film, you know, about an yeah, hour and yeah. 45 minutes long. I uh, want to come back and talk to you a little bit about, about the actors and, and yeah. the selection and, and what got you uh, into writing this script. But as always, we have to take a short break. Please stay with us with my guest, Jay Wallia. Jay is the writer, editor, producer, and co-director of the film Street Soldiers that won a Remy recently at Worldfest, the Houston International Film Festival. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back with my guest, Jay Wallia. This is a fun subject. It's all about movies. And uh, Jay Wallia is the writer, editor, producer, co-director, along with his mom, Lily Alawalia, of the film Street Soldiers, which recently won a Remy at Worldfest, the Houston International Film Festival. Jay, um, you gave us a, a really good uh, synopsis, a little bit of background as to what the movie is all about. Um, and um, your actors and actresses that, that uh, you know, play in the movie, they're all South Asian. Yes. They, um, it is a South Asian based type movie, although mm -hmm. the subject matter is very relevant. Mm -hmm. It's extremely relevant to, to, to today. And I, I, might, uh, I might even suggest that, that the movie is if it has to target somebody, it must be targeting the, the teenagers, 18, 19, 16. It, it, it goes up, but by, by the same, in the same reason, it's good for parents to see that kind of movie. Hence, it has a universal type of appeal. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the actors? I mean, you know, we, we may not know them, but uh, we'll certainly come to know them. Uh, tell me about Sonny, tell me about Jassy, and who else are, uh, are acting in this movie? Well, so all, all our talent, uh, we used all Canadian actors. Uh, they are South Asian because the uh, story is principally about South Asian characters. Um, like you're saying, that uh, it can be relevant to the youngsters as well as the elders. That's where I think the advantages of working with uh, Mom Lily Oluwalia as well, because she takes that side where to always look in to what would the, uh, you know, the elders think about how the story is flowing, as well as I tried to make it. We wanted to make something that was interesting, like you said, relevant to the times, not something, we're trying to change the dynamics, trying to show uh, South Asian characters now as principal characters, and these second generation kids and their stories that they have to tell. Um, we didn't want to do something that was just about the immigrant experience. You know, there are stories that have that as their center, you know, theme, but uh, we wanted to switch the dynamic now, mm -hmm. try, try and tell uh, different stories, the, the struggles that these new kids yes. face and, uh, you know, what... Uh, Particularly the, here, living where they live. Here. Yes. And also how the two cultures have come together. Yes, we may be from India or wherever our countries are from back home, but we are Canadians first and foremost and proud to be Canadians and how those two cultures have come together. We still hold the values that we mm -hmm. have from back home, but we have also inherited this culture, this uh, environment as well. How did you select these actors? These what kind uh, of auditions you so had? So we did auditions all over. 
over. We put uh, you know postings everywhere for local actors, and you know the talents here. Uh, I was so proud, and we're most proud to have all Canadian talent. You know, Sid Savan, Nish Rezi, Lionel Budlal, uh, Steve Kassana, Froze, Sashel, Me Too. They're all local actors. They've done stuff. Uh, we auditioned them, and they really you know knocked us away uh, at the auditions that and we filmed held. locally as well. And we filmed locally. All the talent, the cast, crew, even behind the camera. It's all Canadian talent. So these kind of movies can be made here. We just need that more support system uh, to help us, you know, make this kind of, and tell our stories as Canadians. How long does it take to make this? Uh, we shot principally for about, uh, so we did two weeks of principal shooting, and then we did about a week and a half of pickup shots where we went in and filled some of the gaps, some of the stuff that was missing, and me being the editor as well, it was kind of like, you know, uh, a crazy process because we went back, saw what was missing, what we could fill in some of these gaps, and then the whole story has come together from that, I think, you know. Um, working with your mom, I mean, your mom has, has, has won awards even before the Remy, yeah, and, yeah. and obviously, um, she might have impressed upon you, and, and you learned from her. You kind of picked it up. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about the you know, working relationship of with course. your mom, yeah, no, not I just mean, in this film, but in the other work that you did. You, yeah. You've also done this and, and winning a, right, your Emmy right. before. Tell me yeah. a little bit about that. Well, you know, you, you hit the nail right on the head. It's actually, at first, uh, this was mom's whole show thing. She had uh, gone to uh, Ryerson, won the award there uh, for best film in her time when she went to school for it. And then she went to India for a while, too, and uh, worked under Mahesh Bhatt. Assistant directed Kal Yoga, a movie made by Mahesh Bhatt, which has won awards in India as well. And uh, throughout the whole process, I was just, you know, helping mom out and trying to pick it up. And then when she came back, she was like, we need to make something. We need to move on our next project, something we're going to do. So I wrote I Do Do I myself. Uh, and uh, we worked on it that, together. That's the film, the, the first, first film? one, the short. The short film that you won a Remy for as well. That we won the Remy for, yeah. And um, that uh, we shot together. And then I kind of fell in love with the whole process mm. myself. Uh, you know, helping mom out, just trying to How be there. How long ago was that? Oh, that was over, it's probably maybe now 10 years. 10 years yeah. ago, wow. And now yeah, you've come with your first time. feature. So, I, like at first, you know, being uh, new to the business, not going to school for it myself, um, I had a lot to learn. And this is the kind of business where you're constantly learning. Things are changing. The methods of shooting are different. Everything is done differently from how it was done maybe 10 years ago. So it was constantly a learning process and helping her along the way. I, I, I fell in love with it myself. I, you talk about a mom going to Ryerson. Did you go someplace? No, no I didn't you just go to it school. Up. So I, that's the amazing wow, part. That's and I think amazing. that kind of helps my background because I'm always feeling that because I didn't go to school for it, there's something I need to keep learning about. Yes, so that yes. drives me. It helps me move forward and constantly keep learning about what's the best way to do it. And I, you know, like I, I tell other people as well, like I edited this movie and I, I wrote it, then we directed it, and then I edited it. And you see the difference in how one overlaps on the other where when you're in the editing uh, booth and you're doing all that work, you see what shots you need as a director. So I think it's something that I'll always do. I, I love the fact that this movie is something that I have wrote or I created from my mind and now it's actually on film or, you know, for everyone to see it. Well, good. We'll, we'll take another short break and we'll sure. come back and we'll chat some more about Street Soldiers. Please stay with us with my guest, Jay Wallier. Jay is the writer, editor, producer, and co-director of the film Street Soldiers that recently won a Remy at Worldfest, the Houston International Film Festival. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Okay. Welcome back. We're chatting with award-winning filmmaker Jay Wallier. Jay wrote, edited, produced, and co-directed the award-winning film Street Soldiers. Street Soldiers won a Remy at Worldfest, the Houston International Film Festival, and Jay co-directed this film with his mom, Lily Aluwalia. Jay, we had a premiere for Street Soldiers in February, I believe, this year at the TIFF Bell Lightbox. How was that received? Uh, it was great. It was a great event. We had everybody come out. It was sponsored by Crooks uh, to support upcoming uh, Canadian talent. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had everybody come out to the Telf Bell Lightbox Theatre. Uh, the movie screened and we had our post cocktail at Malaparte. It, it was a great event. The feedback I got from the movie was great. Uh, you know, it was, uh, the crowd was uh, youngsters and elders as well. So the content I was a little bit skeptical on and see if they would like it. But, you know, everyone seemed to love it. They could understand mm -hmm. that uh, beyond all 
you know, the stuff in the movie, the violence, all that, there's a story, there's a message that mm -hmm. we were trying to get across. That not glamorizing this life, but trying to tell the story of this kid who goes from being bullied to becoming the bully himself. Now, to me, we've chatted about this all the time. We, we know how good this film is. And, and the obvious question is, how can we see this film? When can we see it? How is it going to be available? We need for people to see this. What's happening? What, what plans have you got to, to market this film and to show it? So what we've done right now is like we're just taking in all the great news about the awards. Uh, the film is running through the festival circuit. We're going to be putting in festivals throughout North America. And uh, we're always updating our website. So it's uh, streetsoldiersmovie.com. Uh, you can go there. We're going to be updating that about future screenings within Toronto, as well as any festivals we get into where you can see the uh, movie, even information about us and the actors. It's all on there. We want you to follow us on the Facebook, Twitter, uh, you know, on uh, Instagram, all those pages. We have those pages so out So that's there. what we need to do. It's right yeah. now, it's not out yet in the movie no, theaters. No, no. We're looking okay. for that support You're system. You're looking for that support yeah, system. Yeah. And it, it's a feature film, and, it, and, and it's good. It's topical. It talks about South Asian people, the community, and, and the subject matter, as, as we've said right. before right. Uh, in, in this discussion, is, is extremely relevant. Um, you've, uh, you're part of a production company, About yes. Time Productions. Yes. Tell me about About Time Productions so, and what it does. Uh, about Time Productions is our family business. You know, me and mom run it together. Um, and what it is is... Uh, it's to the idea of about time. It's to bring about change. We want to change kind of the landscape of Canadian films, where uh, we can tell these stories, these feature films. We want South Asians to star as the principal characters in these stories, not just the side characters or the comedy relief, you know, whether the taxi driver or the store clerk. Just stories about them. You know, there are so many different positions that we hold here as South Asians in Canada now, and the differences. And like I was saying before about how the two cultures have kind of come together where we do hold our beliefs from back home but we are Canadians first and foremost proud to be Canadians and the struggles and everything that we deal with as you know South Asian Canadians this particular movie yeah. um, was there something in particular that inspired you I mean you you took some time you took a couple of years I believe to, yeah. to write this was there something particularly that inspired you to write on this subject matter and then develop it for, for a feature film well you know because I'm writing myself and uh, you know, this is like this script was written by me. I always try to make something that I find, uh, you know, on that side where it's relevant. It touches on social aspects. Somebody of my age would also want to go out and watch it, so it should be cool and interesting and touch on topics that they can relate to. Uh, I did take some time to write. I took about two years to write mm -hmm. the script out myself, but that's only because I did a lot of research as well about uh, you know these yes. Indo-Canadian mm -hmm. gangs and how they come about forming and what what is the influences that drive them you know so I wanted it to be very relevant I want someone to see it who maybe even in that life to see it and re relate to some of the, the topics some of the subjects that come up and uh, you know help tell a message as well to tell these kids that you know this is no life for anybody they should be looking for other things to do and you know help them create those avenues for them you talk well. about about time your production company being the, the family business and, and I know street soldiers I mean you did so much work on it, and, and, and you helped mom uh, yeah. co-direct, or mom helped you co-direct, yeah, yeah. you know, how we want to look at it. But um, a lot of family members, uh, other family members, that is, helped in, in, in making this film. Tell me a little bit about that. Of course. My wife, uh, Radiba Walia, she's always there for support. She helped uh, with the casting, everything. Uh, my brother, Ron, his wife, Sue, and my dad. It's literally a family-run business. We have this passion for making movies, and uh, we all have put our hearts and souls into making this happen. I couldn't do it without any of them. So these awards, all this recognition, I share it with all of them. It's, it's an honor, as well as the c cast as well. They've put their hearts and souls into these performances. They've done a great job you know I want everyone to come out and see that these Canadian kids all these guys they have the talent out there they just need to be discovered and they need these opportunities like we all do Jay um, I, I love chatting about movies and and, and this has been really good I, I've enjoyed this this interview immensely um, I myself I'm just waiting uh, for the time when I can see street soldiers um, in in the half a minute or so that we have left um, What's next for Jay and, and Lily, either together or separately? And um, where are you headed in your career, you think, with filmmaking? Um, what, what, do you, what do you expect? What's, what, you know, what's your dream? What's your vision on all of this? 
Well, like you said, you know, with these awards, we're walking in the footsteps or in great company of some of the greatest filmmakers ever made. Not to say that we were ever on their level. You know, we, I respect their work, and I love to see what other Canadians are doing as well. But, you know, I hope to... I've always been doing this all, almost as a passion project on the side from my work. Mm -hmm. uh, now I'd like to take it as a full-time gig where I'm doing this. And uh, right now, this was an independently made, independently funded movie. I would like to get that support uh, from other Canadian sources or any sources to continue it and show and put Canadian filmmaking from the South Asian side uh, on the map as well and help make more movies. Uh, you know, people ask me, what am I doing for my next project? I'm writing some scripts. I'm always writing. Mm -hmm. uh, we always have different ideas going about as well. But uh, we're deciding if we should touch another social topic or if we do something romantic comedy just for, uh, you know, a little bit more of a lighthearted situation. Um, but we just really want the whole thing to prosper. Jay Walia, the world awaits you, my friend. The Thank world you. awaits you and it awaits your mom, Lily Alwalia. Again, as I said, whether um, you do this together or separately. And you know, um, I'm, I'm just happy that we've met today. I'm excited about this movie. I'm excited about your work and you speak uh, about your work so passionately. Um, I, I, I'd like to go on record right here and now as saying that one of these days, when the Academy Awards are announced <laughs> and your name yeah. is mentioned, I want to be able to say, hey, I talked to Jay, <laughs> you know, long before the Academy. And I'll come back and see you then, C too. Congratulations, <laughs> my friend, both to you and your mom, Thank and you so continued much. success along the way. And please do whatever you need to do so that all of us, all of our viewers, can get to see Street Soldiers. Um, the South Asian community, you know, they'll be proud of you. But guess what? Canada's got to be proud of you. You're a young filmmaker. Oh, and you um, so much. You know, you, you, you've shown your versatility and your talent, short films, uh, you know, feature films, and you're already an award winner. Jay, thank you for coming in and thank talking you. to us uh, about Street Soldiers. Thanks for having me. Thanks to Jay Wallier for coming in and telling us about Street Soldiers and for the Asian Television Network. I'm Kenty Kan.